na Filomiru geodeziju, sada je asent je ovdje na Islamskom fakultetu, magistrirao je u Maleji, inače Šropov se bavi problemima menačmenta i vodu. Good afternoon. Welcome to this presentation. This is a working topic and this is still a research in process. The clauses of those that we have seen uh, or, 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 or get presented today is very similar to the experience of a boy with that jacket, with red hood. I was interested in personal experiences of people who suffer in war. So instead of this perception, it's point to change later this working topic into impacts of remembrance on the people's lives. People of those who experienced something, have remembrance, and also impact to other people around them. Theoretical framework are some previous researches which were touching this topic. Uh, here I would mention just a collection of essays edited by Rob Gilbert and Dennis Rottermelt. This is in Holland. Uh, they are called Remembrance and Reconciliation. Those essays are doing <coughs> or exploring exactly implications of remembrance restorative justice, retribu retribution, compassion, victims' rights, rights, and so on. <coughs> Some of those issues I have included in this ongoing research, which has as a focus group victims and their relatives, basically relatives who are already <coughs> gone, and just living in the memory of those, those victims. Something in the focus group sampling method is, as usual, convenience or snowball. It means I'm finding the people whom I know well, who can trust me, and who are willing to share their experiences to be recorded and presented without mentioning their names. So putting in focus their, their own experiences. Later on, I will touch this point for more justification of this methodology in dealing with, with this issue. Survey technique are interviews. It means I prepare a basic guideline, but actually letting the participant themselves to express themselves as they are, without interruption, in order to get a deep insight into, into this topic. Uh, thinking that this topic is very important, to make a kind of monography, collection or something, but in order to do something like that, usually is done pilot study. It means choosing a number of participants to which you are going to deeply getting know about the topic, about you. Actually, my sample includes 20 people. I have finished portion of that and it needs time. It needs time basically emotionally. Listening today the story of a boy, you realize how it's emotionally difficult to deal with more than that maybe in, in, in a week. So fortunately, the organizer of this symposium give us time till some time to the end of the year to finalize our works. So, thankful to that, I would have enough time to finish with the whole sample and then 
present the, the final results. What, what I would have today obtained is just a kind of, oh, okay, uh, variables here that are shown, remembrance, reconciliation, also in close connection now how to define operational dehumanization, justice or perception of justice by those victims, retribution or revenge, tangible, and hate animosity, those are basically kind of uh, those test or dependent variables that I am particularly interested in. For the other variables, factors, I excluded the one that could be controversial here and that could distract attention from the real topic. So I would not consider the ethnic background of, of this. That is not going to be considered as variable. The factors that I think and the show will, will show, the factors that are considered and trying to be extracted to, to, to the study, the differences might occur due, due to gender. Either the victim itself was a, a tortured together with just losing the relatives or, or it was just use of relatives and one of the most important age, age of those people at the time when all this was happening. Uh, primary or preliminary findings, that was very interesting. You have two pictures here. One picture is brain and the other is camera. I was astonished with those people when I was being neutral in setting the questions and letting them tell the story, I was very surprised they were telling the story like they're making it on the video. Like everything is happening in the front of us even if it was 20 years ago. It means that their brains, for me, are working just the camera who recorded something with making interview, I just push the play, and then the whole story comes, comes out. It was astonishing. The second issue, the pain, is not going to be independent variable. It's no need. Because, you see, this is the infinity here. The mathematical sign of, of, of infinity. So that pain doesn't have border. That is the one that is a constanta. This high intensity of pain is constanta for all those people. So no need to testing it as a variable and testing it its intensity. The findings show this just the highest level possible, and this is the common for all. So not, not needed to be tested, just to be recorded and said that it is by that. This is also very important. Those people are very pessimistic about justice. So first I put the commonalities here. They don't, don't think that justice in their case is, is possible. Like, okay, since I'm not revealing who told that, and that's now importance of this uh, convenience something. People, people were trusting me that I am not going to reveal what they have said to me, that I will just put some kind of interpretation and, and putting them into, into a report without mentioning them. So they were revealing their deep feelings. Those feelings are something, even if we kill all people in the world, the justice would be not achieved. So if this, is, this is in direct relationship with the previous, what I was told, what I told about about it. So this is also just to be mentioned. Perception of justice is already, I would say, out out of the study focus because not so much difference about about that. Even the sample is small, but it is so common for all that uh, it, it could be just kind of generalized. Now this is very important. This is going to bring uh, some differences. 
and some kind of, uh, of focus of research is going to go further to this. Coping with this pain and this impossibility to attain justice. So ju just two possible directions. Other people achieve compassion and through that rehumanization, reconciliation of, of that, if they achieve that, or they are going in the direction of hate. Since those previous issues are already constant, constant, now this is becoming the main issue of, of research. How people on individual level are going to psychologically cope with what happened to them? How to psychologically cope with their memories, with their records in their brain? with their experiences, with their remembrance. Now, this is in direct continuation. The pictures are maybe not clearly seen. Here you have the ball. So this is the, the number one. If, if they cannot go farther from the hay, they are just like a ball who is ready in every moment to attack somebody. So when this wolf starting to see human, so the world is behaving differently. If they achieve compassion, they would be, would be as this loving wolf. The wolf showing love. So in conclusion, those are some unique, uh, there were some commonalities, but there are some uniqueness in experience regardless of all those variables that I mentioned. Also, uh, my initial fundings, that topic really defined as thus, receive further in investigation time, maybe even looking for funding and making a teams who are going to do something like that. And age differences so far are, as, are identified as important factor or independent variable that can produce differences in, in dealing with those issues. And this has support in psychological theory, which says that ch kids are more flexible or says more resilient to some kind of, of issues. That would be it. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Professor. That was the reason I changed from engineering. <laughs> thank you.